sickening. Oh, it's like you go home, you want to escape, so you eat, 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 eat. Oh, shut up. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Shut or you go and buy shut things. Up. Or you shut go and buy things. No. Shut up. Where's your love? Where's your love? Where's your love? Where's your love in your belly? In your belly? In your belly? Is this how Muslims act? Is this how Muslims act? Jesus is the way, he is the truth, he is the life. This is all coming from standing book here. Are you so rude? This is Islam. Islam has failed. Anger, anger. You are going to hell. The devil is no longer hiding itself. You are all under the laws of the devil. You're all slaves to the sins of this world. Because I'm reaching everyone. Everyone. I'm not angry. I'm spreading the good news. Why are you guys shouting just a few minutes ago? <laughs>
They're not accurate. How many translations do you want me to bring up that say forgiveness? Because maghfira, maghfira, the verse Allah say maghfira. Maghfira means right. not to pardon you for what you did. Maghfira means to, to remove what's inside you which made you do that thing. Which you need to ask forgiveness for. For example, now you for sin. Your sin. Let's say, let's say you committed a sin. Let's right. say I committed a sin. Right. And I ask. We're human I, beings. And God forgave me for what I committed. Right. But, but in the future, I'm gonna do it again because the thing that made me do it is still inside me. Okay. So, the problem is not solved. I'm just right. gonna sin again and again and again. You know, you've just described what we consider to be the nature of man. The so fallen forgiveness nature of man. is is changing that nature, remove it from inside no. you. No, show me anywhere in the Quran it says that. That's maghfira. Maghfira means fixing something, not pardoning. No. Uh, there are Arabic translators who know Arabic and they English don't know better anything. than me they, and you. They don't know anything. <laughs> They don't know anything. Wait, I can't Maghfira, know the Quran then. Maghfira in the language wait, of... Wait, wait, wait. I don't speak Arabic, right? So I cannot know the Quran because according to you, there is no way in which this can be translated correctly because all of the Arabic scholars have failed to translate this verse. If you want, if you want, no to, to, if you, if you want to know the no. meaning of what the Quran mm -hmm. says, you have to learn the Arabic of that then time. I can't be a Muslim. Not the Arabic of today. Then I can't be a Muslim. Then most people in this country can't be a Muslim because no, they don't know Arabic. You can learn it. You can learn it. Wait, wait, wait. No. How many Muslims are there who, no, who no. themselves don't know Arabic? Yeah, it's there are many Muslims who don't know. 99%. So how do they meant to know what this verse means? Because apparently he's saying that the Arabic is actually something very unique which hasn't been translated correctly by any translator. That's what you're saying. You're saying the translators have failed to translate this into English. Ghafara, ghafara, you know, they teach it today. Mm -hmm. They teach it, and you know. And this must be a better Muslim one second, one than second. Uh, this man. Yeah, of course, Asif, this is a scholar. No, no, this would have been... No. Um, how do you know he's better? <laughs> Far Look. better. Far better than so you. This would have been Yusuf Ali. <laughs> this, would have been, this would have been like any... Far better than you. Look, the, issue, wait, look, look, the word ghafara, ghafara. Nothing yet. I'm just saying, is it true that he sinned? That's all I want to do. Step one. Let's do step one. Let's do step one. But the Quran says he sinned. If I give you 10 million pounds and you are not able to pay me back, I will say, okay, I will forgive you. Tell your friend. Does that mean you have sinned? If there was an agreement that I was to pay you back and I went against that agreement, yes. So you that, and that if I said to you, I, I will give you, give you the money back, back yeah. and then I don't give you the money back yeah. because I choose to do something else, then yes, I No, assume. maybe, look, look, the assumption you made that you are able, if you are not able, so I will say I forgive you. First of all, what do you forgive me for? If I give you 10 million pounds and you are not, you are not able to pay it back. Wait, 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 wait. I have a choice, okay. able to take you to court. Second, second. I'm, I'm trying to explain to you. But forgiveness implies moral accountability. Chris, Chris, so to forgive Chris, someone implies they have done something wrong, no, aka in that context, sin. I, no, 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 no. It's not like that. Chris, can I read more verses of the Quran? Because there's, there's, there's more verses. Yes, we can, we can read. But okay. let me, let me right. say this, you know. Okay. Look. You're talking about someone doing something wrong, then Allah pardoning him. Pardoning him. Pardoning. Pardoning. Forgiving him. Yeah, pardoning him. Right? Pardoning. Well, that's what forgiveness okay, is. Okay, I forget it. You did something wrong, I forget it. No, no, not, not, forget, like that. not forgetting. Forgiving. Okay, forgiving. Okay. okay. So I'm not going to punish you. Sure. Okay. For, it's not like that. Maghfira is not like that. Then why has every Arabic scholar who has translated the Quran translated this way into English? Why? Because they are beginners in knowledge. Beginners in knowledge. Yusuf Ali is a beginner they're, of knowledge. Yeah, beginners in knowledge, Come man. Guys. Because <laughs> they only know English and Arabic. So you know better than scholars who spent probably most look, of their adult look, life look. training to translate Arabic into English. Okay, okay, okay. Look, look, my friend, that's, that's, that's all not Muslims, a good argument. If all Muslims here, if all, if all Muslims here, here, pray, pray, pray together, pray together. We call jama'a, you know, jama'a, jama'a, salat al jama'a, congregation. congregation. Congregation, you know, when Muslims pray the five times, they do okay. it together. Okay, if we all, all Muslims pray, I have to be the Imam. Okay, you know why? why? Because the Imam has to be the one who know Quran and Sunnah most. So, so you know the Quran, so if they follow and Islam, most. if they follow Islam, they have to make me the Imam here. When, when, when we pray, when we pray. Wait, wait, are you saying that you know the Quran and well, the Sunnah more Sunnah than more anyone here? Any, any Muslim here, yeah, any Muslim here. Yeah. Wow. Well, uh, <laughs> I have to be the Imam. If, if we do a Salah <laughs> Jama'ah, I have to be the Imam. This is Sayyid, the well-known scholar and Sheikh of Islam. <laughs> what is it? I don't know this. Don't know this. You don't know more than uh, this person. You know, because the Prophet said, 
who's the, the Imam in Salah should be the one who know the Quran most. But you're saying that's and if you. they are equal, I don't yeah. think Muslims yeah, think yeah. you know more than them. Like, yeah. like you know, that's a bold claim. Do, I don't go around well, saying need, I know more than all the Christians. You need to have a, a long beard. Yeah. Uh, th uh, Rob, Rob, yeah. Okay. The look. Do you want the look? I don't know why that's important. I'm hiding. I'm, I'm, fruit at I'm hiding myself. You're also. I'm hiding myself. Hiding no. yourself. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hiding, you went yeah. from proclaiming that you knew the Sunnah and the Quran more than any Muslim here. Yes, yes. To now saying I'm hiding. Yeah, I don't I'm not understand. showing it. I'm not showing it. I'm not. But you just publicly proclaimed everybody. that you know the Quran and the Sunnah better than any Muslim. I here. had to because you made me do it. You know, I, I know. I'm going to make a very humble claim here. I don't know like the Quran or the Sunnah better than probably quite a few Muslims here. I'm going to be honest, because there are people here who who have memorized a lot. You know, I'm going to be honest about. That. There are Christians who know the Bible seen, better than I do here. All the speak, You're aware of Muslim speakers here speak. But I'm not going to make this this big bold claim. When it comes to knowledge, Islamic yeah. knowledge, they're all they're all beginners. Right, but you're claiming to know better than all of them. I do. Say yeah, 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 I know more than them. Yeah. Do you know better than the earliest? Um, yeah, let's go. The earliest Sahaba, for, the, the Tabi'un. Do you know better than them? Forget about me. Let, let's okay, go back okay. to our perhaps, topic. Perhaps perhaps right. we should forget quickly because yeah, yeah. that that doesn't go well okay. for you. Anyway, but, the point yeah. that I was making yeah. is that there are many verses in the Quran that say Muhammad asked forgiveness for his sins. Yeah, but he didn't sin. That doesn't mean. <laughs> <laughs> How can he ask forgiveness for his sins? Yeah, but he didn't sin. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. I'll give you an example. If I give if I give you ten billion pounds. Back to 10 billion pounds. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. You don't we'll like example, I know. And you are not able to pay me back. So I'll tell okay. you, okay, I have forgiven you. Okay. Does Why I could I not sent? pay you back? Maybe you are not able. You don't have. Was it because I foolishly spent that money on foolish things, knowing full well Maybe that I would not be it, able no, to pay you back? Unwillingly, you have lost it somehow. Not, right. not of your own There are fault. certain things that are not moral faults. For example, if someone stole it from me, it's not my fault. Yes. Mm. Nothing so, to forgive. Okay, then, for but example. if I spent it foolishly, knowing full well this meant I couldn't repay you, that is a sin. Mm. And that would require forgiveness. That's so right. even in your own example, there are clear situations if where, yes, it, from it you, is a sin. If somebody steals it from you and you're not able to pay it back to me, I'm, and no, I said to you, I forgive you. Do you hear you. what I just said? If I spent it foolishly, knowing I, full well that meant I couldn't pay you back, then, that then, is then a yes, sin. That's, 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 there you are. Okay. Let's, there you are. Wait, 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 wait. Let's take another example. Let's take another one. If okay, somebody let's... steals, if, if, if somebody mm. steals the money from you, okay, and you came to me and said, "Look, mm -hmm. please forgive me. Mm -hmm. Somebody have mm -hmm. taken the money mm -hmm. from me, and I'm not able to pay you." And I said, "Okay, I forgive you." Does that mean you have sinned? If yes someone no? stole it from me, yes, and I I didn't do any uh, sin or err uh, in yes. that, okay. yes. it was not my responsibility, so it is not a sin. So, so, so here you go. So in that context in Quran, mm -hmm. when Prophet Muhammad asking for forgiveness mm -hmm. because he whatever prayer he will do, he will not able to pay back whatever blessing God given to him. His eyes. Show his, me where it says that in the Quran. There is hadith. There is hadith on this. Mm. There is hadith. But the Quran makes it clear that hadith it is sin. Also says that there is, there is. is a big time sinner. There is, I will look for it, but there but, is. There wait, wait, is. if the Quran says one thing and the Hadith says another, no matter how sahih that Hadith is, which should you take as the authority? The Quran or the Hadith? The Hadith. Sorry, what? the Quran. Wow. The Quran, oh, there okay, we go. Okay, yeah, yeah. See, I was worried then. Slip of tank, slip of <laughs> I was worried. So you take the Quran as the final yes. authority, and yes. the Quran in many places, if we can go through them now, says that Muhammad asked forgiveness for his sins, both but his I'm future sins you, and his past a, sins. He's a prophet. Right, and I agree. Prophets are prophet, human beings like a, anyone here. What they words? can sin. No, he doesn't sin. But because in the Quran it says his ala khuluqan azim, he he never sinned. Mm. The only thing is whatever prayer he will do, he will not be able to pay back God whatever blessing God given him. Mm. And none of us. Okay. In fact, there is hadith. Uh -huh. There is a hadith, I think, or there is a narration that one man. Mm. Prophet Muhammad, like he was saying, that one man went to Allah and he wanted to go to heaven because of his, what good deed he did. Mm. Then what Allah did, he just I'm put the scale, mm. whatever blessing, just the eyes, whatever Allah gave him the eyes and weighed it against whatever good deed he did. What have, I mean, guess what? So whatever deed he did, is it, it did not equalize the blessing, the, the, only the eyes. Right, okay. So whatever we do, we will not go to heaven because of our good deed. It's because of mercy for of Allah. That's why Prophet Muhammad asking forgiveness because whatever he will do, he will not be able to pay back, to pay back pay whatever back. blessing God has given to the mankind and whatever given to him. So right. having a sex with Maria 
विदाउट अ वेड लॉक इज नॉट अ सिन व्हाट मारिया इज इट नॉट अ सिन मारिया द कप व्हिच मारिया द कप हिज वाइफ नो 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 स्लेव 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 सो इन इस्लाम यू आर सेइंग दैट इज चेस्ट टू हैव सेक्स विद योर वेड लॉक विदाउट वेड लॉक Sorry. In Islam, is it chaste to have sex with your female captives? That's the ru rule of the war during that time. Prove to me it's about <laughs> war. Why are you jumping? No, but, oh, well, no, because because I'm just saying you were talking about it, so I asked you. No, no, no. But going back so, to what you said, yeah. you're saying that no, when when Muhammad asked forgiveness for his sins, it does not mean it in the way that we understand it yes, today. Yeah, yeah. However, let's have a look at some hadith. What hadith? So yeah. I want to look at Sahih Muslim. Yeah. And I want to look. It's Ma Ma Sah uh, Sahih Muslim two six five nine a. Yes. So it says here, the mother of every person. And gives him birth according to his true nature. It is subsequently his parents who make him a Jew, a Christian. Had his parents been Muslim, he would have been. He would have remained a Muslim. Every person to whom his mother gives birth, the two aspects of life. When his mother gives birth, Satan strikes him. But it was not the case with Mary and her son Jesus Christ. So even no, Muhammad, um, no, never says Muhammad. Muhammad, Muhammad, Muhammad not mentioned. The only people. I can give you another no, no, hadith. No, no. You pick and choose. I can give this you. This is Sahih hadith. Sahih Muslim. Sahih Muslim. Sahih Muslim. Even I can give you another Sahih Muslim. So the Sahih contradicts. Contradict. No, they contradict. They contradict. What you are doing? What you are doing? This example, Prophet. I'm Muhammad, reading Sahih Muslim to you. I can give you Sahih Muslim that Prophet Muhammad also is never sinned. Huh? Never sinned. Huh? <laughs> but this one, Quran, this one is saying, says, no, this hadith is saying that there are only two people who have never been struck by Satan when they're show born. The only, that is Mary Arabic. and show me the her Arabic. son Jesus. Show me the Arabic and I'll say there is only or not. Show me the Arabic. Let's get it up in Sunnah.com. Surah 19. There's the Arabic. My Arabic. Ikra. Ikra Arabiya. Read it out loud so we can hear. Read the Arabic out loud, please. No, no, no. So, who are the two people? Does it include Muhammad? Come on. Read no, no. it out loud. Let me. First of all, this is against you. In what oh. sense? You, what you are doing? You are. You I said every I look, look, look. Every child born uh -huh. sinless. Mm -hmm. You agree according to this, yes or no? Let us do it step by step. No, no. It says, it says, it says that Satan strikes them at birth. The, from the and the only two it? people who, who who do that doesn't apply to. Look, I read it. I read it. I read it. From the beginning, it says every child born sinless. No, no, no. Is oh. born. Oh. No, no. Gives him birth according to his true nature. Whoever it is subsequently his parents to make him a Jew, a Christian, or a Muslim. So his parents making him either Jew or right. Christian. Yeah. Right. So he's born right. sinless. Right. It doesn't say sinless. What it says is that they are born in a state of fitra. Fitra. To what which is fitra? Then, yes, which what is then, fitra? But again, what is fitra? has Satan struck what them? Is fitra? Has According Satan to... struck them? No. It <laughs> says here, listen, the it only people, fitra. when his mother gave birth, Satan struck him. But it was not the case with Mary and her son even Jesus. Muhammad, even so even, even Muhammad was struck by Satan. No, look, look right. what he's doing. <laughs> it says clearly in the hadith, everybody is, every child born with fitra. You are ignoring this. For 40 years, Muhammad are, was a sinner. No. Muhammad was a sinner Prove for 40 it. years. How? How? how because he was, uh, he was a pagan. He wasn't. He, he never was worshipped a pagan. pagan. His he parents' uh, uh, deity. No. His no, parents' no, deity. No. No. So he no. was, uh, how he do was you know worshipping the same way. All right. It's, it's, a minister, it's a minister. It's a minister. This is again. This is uh, Sahih al Bukhari uh, 3330. The Prophet said, but for the Israelis, meat would not decay. And but for Eve, wives would not betray their husbands. Yeah. That kind of okay. sounds like some sort of original sin. No. That's oh, interesting. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. Wait. So because of Eve, because of Eve, uh -huh. men now betray their wives. I have yeah. to check. Whether Sorry, no, wives possible. would now betray their husbands. No. Ah. Read it with. There you go. There it is. Muslims, if you want to check this out with me, it's Sahih Al Bukhari 3330. 3330. Yeah. Bring it up on the screen. Yeah. 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 Okay. What does so, it say? But for Eve, wives would never betray their husbands. In other words, because yes. of what Eve did, okay. now women betray their husbands. I don't accept this hadith because against Quran. There you are then. Oh, there you are then. Quran. You've just rejected the Sunnah. For me, the Quran so is the authority. Is Allah says, Are you Quran only? Are you Quran only? No, I'm Quran and Hadith. But, but not this Hadith. <laughs> I don't know. Not, not Sahih Abu Qai. But the, because our main authority is the Quran. So Quran says, uh. Fa'azal lahum al-shaytan. 
Shaitan whispered on both of them. Adam and Eve, not right. only Hawa, yes. Right. So, it's so because of Eve, women now betray their husbands? No, no. In no, fact, it actually no, says because no, of the Israelis, no, meat now decays. No. <laughs> that's what's bizarre, but that's so what I says. answered you. I answered right. you about the sin that Prophet no, Muhammad no, is. No, yeah, we haven't given any answer. I answered no, no, no. you. I, no, you, your answer is I don't accept it. No, 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 accept it. There is an answer. There are plenty of Muslims that do accept Sahih al Bukhari. Yeah, yeah. No, because they know that it's a Sunnah. Prophet Muhammad was sinless. Not according to the Quran. According to the Quran. You went to the Hadith to describe it. No, no, no. I give you the Quran now. This is what we are He has given you a victory um, so that God may forgive you your past and future. Oh, let's have a look. Let's read it out loud. Yeah. So this is Surah 48, Ayah 2. Uh, I think it might, but anyway. Forgive you your past and future sins. Yes, Muhammad. That's Muhammad. Yes. Past sins. Past and future sins. You. Because whatever he will do, he will not be able to pay back the blessing God's given him. That's why Where do you he's get that from? Where do you get that? Do you get that from the Quran? Scholars say this. <laughs> and the Quran Was it Sayyid, the scholar earlier? Was it what he said? The Quran says, وَكَانَ عَلَىٰ خُلُقٍ إِنَّهُ وَإِنَّكَ لَعَلَىٰ خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ to forgive. The Quran says he is sinless. Listen, listen. Muhammad is a man. You understand this? Yeah, he's and he's man. not God. He's he is a, a man. He's a prophet. So course. as every man, like every man here, no. we sometimes err. We sometimes but sin. But Muhammad, yeah, no. He's sinless. <laughs> The, your Quran in Surah Al-Miliyam Ayah 19 says Jesus was a pure son. Was Muhammad better than uh, Musa? And the Hadith says that Jesus was never struck by Satan, but Muhammad was. No, he did, he did. He did, according to your Bible, he did. Satan tempted him. No, I don't. Satan tested him. No, the temptation is not a sin. The temptation is not a sin. Calling the lady, you are a dog, you're not a sin. Wait, wait, wait. Calling the lady, you're not a sin. Wait, Muhammad is temptation a sin? Yes. For God's so, sin. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. So was Muhammad sinning when he lost it after Zainab? No, he wasn't. He wasn't. <laughs> In his own... Oh, my days, my days. Oh, my we all know the story. Jesus he sinned. saw look, Zainab look. in a, a compromised state he lady, and he lost God, it look. after her. Jesus was right. So racist. much so that he had to withdraw from that yeah. because he knew he was lusting after her. No, no, he wasn't after her. That's Did he marry Zainab? Because did he marry Zainab? There is a reason. You yes. have to know the reason. You know the reason. <laughs> so, he, so he did marry Zainab. Huh? Did Zaid divorce Zainab? Okay, let me ask you a question. Uh, no, no, no. Is Zainab? Can you give me an answer? Is Zainab daughter of Prophet Muhammad? Yes or no? As far as I went, no. That's it. Not she was not. adopted. Daughter, so the no. What are you on about? What's this got to do with what I'm talking about? It does because by yeah, it was the wife of an adopted son. Zaid was the adopted son of Muhammad. That's right. And Muhammad made Zaid divorce Zainab. That's right. Yes. Therefore, Muhammad took Zainab from yes. Zaid. Yes. That's right. Adopted no, that's son. Right. That's right. Zaid would have been referred to as Zaid ibn Muhammad. Yeah. Because but Allah that was changed to, based off what Muhammad Allah, declared. Allah want to want to change a practice which was which was done by the, then that they considered the adopted son as a literal son. Allah says no. Adopted son is not literal son. That's why Allah ordered him to marry uh, Zainab. Not because he's after her, no. All right, for, there are a few things here. First of all, a lot of scholars would actually say that the reason why this story is found is because uh, they wanted to make sure there was no one who claimed uh, prophethood after Muhammad. No. So anyway, but second point is this is a, is a foul practice because what this has effectively done in the Islamic world and it is that it has denied legitimate adoption, legitimate daughterhood, sonhood adoption. of people into a family. Adoption so for is example, not allowed. For in, Chris, is allowed. Wait, in Christianity, I can adopt someone, an orphan, and they will take on my family name That's right. and they will be considered as a normal son in the community. The same rights, the same inheritance rights, they are a son. However, in Islam, that is not the case. And that is a, a, a fostering, abomination. Fostering. An abomination. Is no, no. See, adoption, a adoption is a noble, noble uh, uh, practice of those people. Noble practice of noble those practice. people. And if Allah is uh, stopping this uh, uh, noble practice, then Allah is uh, Worse Satan than uh, no, no, no. Uh, Satan itself. It's truly, truly horrible. This is Satan. Abandoning, you abandoning are, the legitimacy you are lying of adoption. to people by putting someone who's not in your bloodline as a son, as a literal son. Why don't you go no, for no, fostering? No, 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 no. See, you see? That's adoption, a lie. 
adoption why do they adopt the uh, children why because do, they why are do you, orphan now why yeah. do you need to change now. their blood so bloodline they, they to you uh, why don't you do fostering a, uh, because fostering that is the children. good and noble thing to do to that's take an orphan who that's has no lie. parents that's and to say that i will make you my son that's i will right. make you my Doesn't daughter matter. and you will have the same rights Doesn't as my matter. biological Doesn't sons matter. and daughters yeah. that is the honorable thing treat him as a son but don't lie claiming that he's your bloodline do fostering why you deny them of their rights. No. You deny them of their inheritance. No. no. Prophet Muhammad says, I'm the orphan like two fingers. You have to treat them very well, like your son. But they are not your literal son. They are not your bloodline. What's wrong with that? You deny them of their rights. Who said so? That's I your assumption. So. I say so. so, and also because in the Jewish and Christian heritage, we, when we adopt those, they come into our family. We are told to come into our family. You see, what you are doing, you're putting your assumption that have by stopping adoption, claiming that the person, an orphan, is my his bloodline, that he will mistreat him. That's wrong. Prophet Muhammad clear instruction: treat the orphans like your sons, but they are not your literal son. That's the fact. You cannot change it. Why? But you, you are treating them like your actual son. You're treating like, them as a lesser than that. No, who said this? That's wrong. Okay, so this? it would have been Zaid, uh, Zaid ibn Muhammad. That no, would have been his name. That's no. right. There you are. The reason that it's not, not his name is because you don't give he's, him the same rights as no, you would no. an actual son. No. Yes. They Zaid are. ibn Muhammad. They they are. Feed yeah. them, take care of them, do whatever. But they are. the fact is, and you cannot change the fact that they are not your bloodline. That's why Islam came to preserve the... the the lineage also. Otherwise, everyone will just put, take anyone say, this is my son, this is my son. That's not how That's adoption beauty. works. Uh, no one goes, no one goes, oh, this yeah. is my son, and they just yeah. take everyone. No, it's a very sacred and something that yes. takes a lot of time and consideration and a very self-sacrificial act to take an orphan okay. Okay. and adopt them into Why your not? family. Why not keep that the orphan's name as it is let him know who are the his, his parents and you just you can do that them. while still considering them your son and daughter you can tell them when they're old enough look you but are you, adopted but what you are doing you're changing their name why so because what? they are legitimate so, yeah. they are under age and you are you abusing them changing right. their name putting so, the other people as their parents that's let's, totally wrong let's go immoral, back immoral, let's go back immoral, to, let's go back immoral. to the topic we had the topic we had was whether muhammad sins yes he never sin. Do you know that yeah, according to the earliest tafsir yeah. and the earliest surah, the autobiographies yeah. of Muhammad, yeah. Muhammad led prostration and prayer in the name of three gods. Do you know about this? Do you know about this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. This is, you know who Al-Tabri? Al -Tabri. Do you accept Al-Tabri? Al-Tabri, he was a historian. He was an historian. He was literally someone who who checks the authentic history of the events. Do you accept Ibn Asak? Do you accept Ibn Asak, the earliest historian. biography that we have? Historian, yeah. historian. Yeah. Not everything Islamic is right. Islamic scholars of history, you reject. Not, yeah. no, no, the no, earliest. Everything everything is right. them. Of course you reject them. We, we of course you reject them. These were the opinions of the people at the time. And they were for later scholars. The early, the early first and second century, the early first and second century, majority of Muslims at the time believed that Muhammad had, had uh, had led prayer for Alat, Manuza okay. and Manat. That's right. right. After Muhammad yes. died, there was the Reza war. What happened? The majority of Muslims, they, they went back on their religion. So how are you explaining that they were all good and etc.? No, obviously there were Muslims amongst them who had differing opinions. No, this so was when, a consensus. No, no, it, no, no consensus. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yes, consensus it was. Is a liar. Okay, there is a expert in this field. Let me just get his book up. So he is a Muslim. Wait, wait. wait. He is named. Wait, wait let me get. He cares the tree. All right. So there is a Muslim scholar who is an expert in Islamic law. He also had his uh, bachelor's and master's degree in Arabic studies called Dr. Uh, Shahab Ahmed. And he wrote a book called Before Orthodoxy The Satanic Verses in Early Islam. And according to him, and he is considered one of the best experts in this field, they were by scholars of uh, Islamic studies. I'm quoting this guy as the authority. Are you quoting a guy you don't no know one knows about? This. No one knows this guy. I just, I just told you who he is. I asked you, name a scholar that's I just told, He studies at Harvard. What's in this, Harvard? What's Harvard? An American university. One of the best universities in the world. One of the best universities in the world. Massachusetts or Medina? Mecca. 
Where did Islam start? Where does Islam start? Yeah. Why do you not know? He's saying he's not from an Islamic university. He studied it also in Pakistan. Islamic Institute. Islam started in Pakistan. In Lahore. Come on, man. Get a grip. What are you on about? I'm no, talking about Dr. People. Shabab Ahmed, like who is an expert on this, who spent his okay, life's I'm work expert. researching. I'm an You're an expert. Quote me okay, right when, did you, when did you get your PhD? Did this you... guy got his PhD at Harvard in Islamic Studies. I don't care about in in the Tell me about Medina. Why are you trying to do Why are you trying to do Do you? No. Okay, then be quiet. You are Where's your PhD? Where's your PhD? Where's your PhD? I'm quoting this guy. I'm quoting a Muslim scholar who specialized in this. Okay, tell me one scholar that recognizes this scholar. He's, re recogn he's recognized in the field of Islamic okay, studies. Give me one name. Give me one name. Well, I don't give know anyone who knows it personally. Name. You know what? Just say a random Muslim name. It might stick. What are you on about? Give me one guy who recognizes So I need to tell you contemporaries of him who know him in order to validate his PhD yeah, and the fact that he wrote a book about it. You can say what? anything as well. I need someone I'm reading from an expert. No, no, no. That's not how Islam works. Yeah, it doesn't work with experts. Logic, logic, work, logic and academia work. doesn't really work with Islam. Islam doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. It doesn't, doesn't work like that. Anyway, Dr. Shahab Ahmed, he specifically says, and let me quote from him regarding this. Here we go. This is from his book, Before Orthodoxy, The Satanic Verses and Early Islam. It has emerged in the most emphatic terms that the Satanic Verses incident constituted an absolutely standard element in the memory of the early Muslim community on the life of its founder. We have repeatedly dated reports of the Satanic Verses incident as being in circulation among individuals involved in the historical memory projects of the Sira and Tafsir in the late first and early second centuries of Islam. Simply, the Satanic Verses incident was uh, unambiguous in the earliest period of semant uh, semantic collection and organization of historical memory materials on the life of Muhammad. And he has put together 50 uh, early narrations from the first and second century of Isnads that go back to people who claim this event has been historical fact. In the Quran today. Can I, can no, it was removed from the crime because the crime has been corrupted. Can let me ask you one question. What does that mean for you? No, it doesn't mean anything for me. It means a lot for you, though, as a Muslim. What it means is that your Quran hasn't been perfectly preserved. Okay, let me, ask you, let me ask you one question. Can I ask you a question? What was uh, Muhammad's religion before he was a prophet? No, 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 you tell me. No, like you're you're a Muslim, I'm, I'm not. Any Muslim know what the religion of Muhammad was before he was 40 years old, before he became a prophet? Muslim, Muslim. Hanif and Muslim. How is he Muslim? He said Hanif Muslim. Muslim. Yeah, Hanif and Muslim. Hanif and Muslim. Hanif and Muslim. Okay, so why does Surah 4252 says, there's what it says, and thus we have revealed to you an inspiration of our command. You did not know what is the book or what is faith, but we have made it a light by which we guide whom we will of our servants. And you indeed, O Muhammad, you guide to a straight path. Why is this worth saying that Muhammad didn't know what faith was, what the book no, was? No, no, he because it wasn't but he just he said he didn't know what the book was or the faith. He he was. No, he said he was a Muslim. The Quran says he doesn't know Allah, he doesn't know the book, he doesn't know the faith. That's what the Quran is saying. I gave you the verse. I'll give you another verse. The Quran says in here Muhammad did not know the faith. It's your Quran, okay? Now you cannot say it's a Sahih Hadith or it's a false Hadith. This is Quran. No, the worst thing you are, you ask a question and you answer yourself. I'm not can you answer? Can, can you, answer? you read Arabic? Can you answer? No, no, can you read Arabic? Why? So you need a translator. Why? God cannot speak no, another no, language. Can you read Arabic? No, no, is your God your only Bible, Arabic God? Your Bible okay. written in English. Muslims, if you don't like speak Arabic, yeah? you're not a Muslim. So you, you don't so, have so you're not a Muslim if you don't uh, speak me, Arabic. Excuse me, you don't know. the question. What about Why are you speaking English? English? Why are you speaking no, English? Okay, speak why English. are you speaking English? Okay, listen. Surah 42, verse 52. Yeah. Surah 42, verse 52. Yeah. One become. Read in the Arabic. You believe three. Read it in Arabic. 
in Arabic. Tell me the meaning in Arabic. Come on, read it in Arabic. One did three become one. Come on, you explain to me. No, no, no. One plus one. Read in Arabic. One plus one. Read in Arabic. One plus one. Plus one. How many one in those? How many one in Arabic? You are a bit You understand that? No, 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 no. You are a future say, guys. Why are you so crying? No, why now, are you not answering the question? Why are you not answering the question? No, look at that. Why are you not answering the question? Excuse me. Why are you not answering the question? I'm here. No, no, it's no, 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 I'm asking you. Okay, it's time. Why are you not answering the question? I will respond to your question. Answer the question. Answer the question. You know what? If you just waffle it like a little kid. You know waffle it? You waffle it like a young kid. Answer the question. Answer the question. Ask him the question. Answer the question. Can you answer the you? question? I can read Bible. Can you answer the question? Can you refute anything? Answer, answer, answer the question. Can you read Arabic? Can you read Arabic? Can you read Arabic? Where's the question? Where's the question? Where's the question? No, it should be one. Where's the question? It should be one. One plus one plus one. Surah 42, verse 52 says, And thus we have revealed to you an inspiration of our command. You did not know what is the book or the faith, but we have made it a light by which we guide whom we will of our servants. Where's the Arabic sites? You read it in Arabic. No, no, open it. This is the Quran. You, you read this it in Arabic. Quran. Quran. You know, yeah, you know what? You waffle it. Uh, this is not Quran. This is English. Surah. Open the Surah. 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 Open the Surah. 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 Must be a foolish man open who it. translated. Open it. Open it. And then this is what you Must be a foolish man who translated. Go, 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 translated. go, go, go. Get the Quran. No, no. It's right there. Free Quran. You know, you know you're acting like a little kid. How old are you? Open the free Quran. You're acting like a little kid. Any Muslim here has a Quran on it? One plus one, you don't even know. Go on, let me Read it in Arabic. Show me. What it means in Arabic. Show me what it means. I walk out. Ignorant. You are ignorant. Oh, listen, listen, listen. Come here. Come here. Run away. Run away. Run away. Okay. If you look at Arabic. No, no, no. Come here. Come here. Here's Arabic. Come here. Come here. Come here. Got the Arabic. Bro, bro. I got the Arabic. I got the Arabic. Come here. Come here. I got the Arabic. I got the Arabic. I got the Arabic. Come here. Come here. I got the Arabic. I got the Arabic. No, come here. Tell your friends to be quiet. Tell your friends to be quiet. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. It says there in Arabic. Okay, this look, look, open it. Okay, look see, this is this oh, is Quran. This is Quran.com. Okay. Okay. You tap on that and the I'll Arabic read, and it translates no, no, it as the I will read Arabic first. And then I, no, the scholars, no, 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 the Arabic no, no, scholars. Why are you so well, afraid? Well, Let well, me read Arabic. I just showed you. I, I know you. how to read Arabic. Let Better than the scholars. Can I read Arabic? Better than the scholars. Can I read Arabic? I just showed you. I'm not deleting it. The scholars say it means the face. Why are you so afraid? I'm not deleting it. Let me read the Arabic. Wait, wait, why are you saying you're better than the scholars? Wa ilayka. So, excuse me, take out that. Why are you blocking that? That's what happens when you tap no, it. No, no. Look, it even says yeah, it. No, 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 let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. A lot of people speak Arabic. Can you move this? What, what? kind what of translation you using? Okay. This is Quran. Oh, that's good, good, This is Quran. Good. Good. Is Quran. Okay, Ruhan. Okay, let me finish. Ruhan. Min Amrina, Makunta, Tedri, Malkitabu, Walla Iman, Walakin, Challa, Hunuran, Nahdi, Bihi, Manna Shao, Mibadina, Wain Nakala, Lenahtadi, Ila Siradul Mustaqid. So, what was that word? God is talking to him if you listen. Don't disturb me. Iqra came. You know what Iqra means? Read in the name of your Lord. That's the first surah. So, he's telling. Can I finish? Okay, go on. You know why you so afraid, guys? You can't even debate. <laughs> to know if you can debate, I you think, can't even patient. No, no, you've been coming here for, for seven years. I've been seeing you. Seven you, years? You got, you, you got years. anger problem. Man, you need it's a been a long time. Don't, don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. Man, it's anger it's management. It's it's been like one year. I can't smile. I can't even smile. This guy, he never smile. This guy, he never smile. He chucked talk like a leg. Let me finish. So he's talking to Muhammad. God talking to Muhammad. Okay. He teach him. We reveal you something you didn't know. The okay. Quran. Mm -hmm. Okay? First surah came to Islam in know. Iqra. Yeah. Read in the name of your Lord. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Iqra khalaqa. insana min alaq. He created you know, human for their blood or clock. Yeah? So he teach him. Alladi alama bil qalam. He teach with the pen. Now you use it. Okay? Knowledge. Islam is about knowledge. Okay. okay? He's talking to Muhammad. Okay. He didn't know before how to read, how to write. Okay. He revealed to the Quran, okay. but he said, those who's been blocked, blind, deaf, the hearts block. Okay. They cannot help themselves.
because you are returned. Yeah, guys, yeah, coming here. All right. What's Today is a Sunday. Let me finish. No, no, it's a Sunday. Very patient You're supposed to be going to the church. You're preaching. Something you don't have. So, so, how much are you getting? You man, ladies and gentlemen. You scared? You scared? How much are you getting? I showed him where it says in the Arabic. No, no, no. Why did you scare? You man, you still have an answer. No, no, I finished. I just wait. I just wait for like two minutes. Excuse me. Excuse me. How? How much longer? Can you? This guy, you at least good. Thank you. You speaking good. Good. How much do you need? No, no. Can I? Okay. It says here that he didn't know the face. Okay. Can you not? Your your workers, your two workers, he employed them not to disturb me. How much an hour you get? Five pound an hour. That's illegal. You shouldn't be getting five pound an hour. An hour. Who gives me money? He gives Doesn't me five pound an hour. Hello, you hello. You are you guy, getting money? You Anyone who acts, you look like you are the you bad. You are the Dawati. Dawati is there to make Where's the chair? Where's the chair? Where's the chair? Is close. Your chair is closed. Listen. Close. Listen. A black man say hallelujah, hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Why did you scare him? Why did you? Hey, buddy. Why? 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 The Quran said that the Quran says that Muhammad did not know the face. I gave him two minutes. He said nothing about it. He can't answer my objection. In he talks about he talks about Christianity. He talks about the Trinity because he can't defend his Quran. Look, I know you're afraid, but if you don't answer, Lying in front of camera, the worst talks about Muhammad in that has he must he didn't talk too much. So we were talking about uh, whether he did not have the book. He, he only talked about the book. He didn't say about the Iman. Uh, so Muhammad did not have Iman. But let's talk about it. Uh, he does not know that. I know the word Iman. So so it's in the words. He skipped it. Well, there are claims by Muslims without lies. Islam does dies. Islam 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 yeah. That's our kind of perspective. Yeah. 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 You know what, hermitism? Then we got the religion yeah. 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 for 40 years of this so called revelation. And we have written, quote, uh, written words from his grandfather. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. 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 Fair Adam? Yeah. Adam. Aha. Uh -huh. well, so what yeah. were you claiming he was instead? Uh -huh. Well, I think he was going further and saying that he was a pagan. That was his son. 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 Yeah, son. What kind of proof did he have? I don't ask him. Amen. 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 That's right. To be humble beings, to love one another, and to be peaceful with one another, and to be egoistic and for the world, and to be sins to this world. Which kind of truth that you want to speak? Which kind of truth? Why do you want to speak? Why do you want to speak? Amen. Which kind of? No, that's not true. Jesus, yeah. Yeah. Why do you care about what color he is? Why do you care? Why do you care? What is your skin color? What? Your God has a form. Does that Allah have a form? Allah has no form. Does Surah 68, Ayah 42 not say that Allah has a shin? What are you saying? But Allah has a shin. Allah has two right hands. Allah has multiple eyes. He's beardless. Did he shave? Shut up! 
Yeah, he probably knows more about it than me. Yeah. No. So, Uncle Sam. But sometimes you need to listen. No! Yeah, I'm not just saying you need to have knowledge. It's not about you close your eyes. It's not like it's that. It's passion. I'm God is speaking to you through me. I'm a living sacrifice to the living Jesus Christ. The God that is alive now. Amen. Anyone here? Anyone here that needs healing? Who wants to witness? I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I want to, I want to really, really, really be bulky, hench, strong, and I'm too skinny. Be disciplined. I am, I'm going to the gym every day. Jesus brings discipline. Can Jesus please give me some bulky muscle, I want some gains, I want some gains. You need a spiritual strong man. Okay, yeah, give it to me now. Man. Can I see the miracle? Get on your knees and pray. Knees. To Jesus. What do I do? What happens then? What happens then? Get the spirit of God. The spirit of God will set you on fire and make you stand firm. You don't even need to have the muscle. That means nothing. Why do you need muscle to be a big man? No, you need a strong spirit. After that, though, I'm still going to be skinny. I'm still going to be skinny. I'm still going to be skinny. I hope you understand this. on camera. This is a slam. You know when people they, they worship money and greed, it's sickly when they eat because they can't. Can you get wow. Okay, I'll get it. Excuse me, friend. So if I just get past you, I need to put some in. You talk too much. To love and to be humble and to forget about the things of this world. It's sickly. It's sickly. It's sickly. It's sickening. It's like you go home, you want to escape, so you eat, 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 eat. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Or you go and buy things. Oh, you going to No! Where's your love? Where's your love? Where's your love? Where's your love? Where's your love in your belly? In your belly? In your belly? Is this our Muslim act? Is this our Muslim act? Jesus is the way, he is the truth, he is the life. This is all coming from standing book here. Akhras! 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 Why are you so rude? This is Islam. Here. Islam has failed you. Anger! Oh, anger! Right. Anger! Look at what you do. Anger! Yeah. Look at the things that you do. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. We are not perfect, but Islam is perfect. Islam is perfect. Huh? Really? You really? should show your face. You should show your face. No way. Ah, of course not. Ain't perfect. You know it's not perfect. You know it's not perfect. You know it's not perfect. Stick by your word. There's no other faith in the world yet. God, Jesus says. God says, by my grace alone you shall enter eternity. He's the only faith where you can enter heaven without doing your works. Muslims um, and all that kind of stuff. You have to. You have to work for your salvation. Jesus says you do not have to work you have a free gift and by that and your faith in my word alone you shall enter into heaven and so by why, the trans why, why are we all homeless why do we all just the because what you need to understand we're all descendants of adam and eve who sinned in the garden of eden okay. so he kicked them out and he said i'm going to put you in the world yeah, and i give the power and heaven. the authority to the devil so we are under the devil's world and you can see now the devil is no longer hiding
hiding itself. No longer hiding itself. The rapture is coming very soon. The mark of the beast is coming very soon. And if you do not repent and turn your head to the living God, which is Jesus Christ, you will go to hell. You will go to hell. The devil is no longer hiding itself. You are all under the laws of the devil. You're all slaves to the sins of this world. Because I'm reaching everyone. Everyone. I'm not angry. I'm spreading the good news. Why you guys shouting just a few minutes ago? When you all shouting here? I wasn't shouting. Oh, sure, sure. I wasn't shouting. Oh, who's singing was it? Was it singing? <laughs> Telling people to shut up, he's singing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you Christian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice Are you, Christian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you wear an EF Dawa. You, you cover your face with EF Dawa. Is this what EF Dawa does now? No, Hiding people's faces? I have called on my oh, you're called. Oh, okay, okay. So you well, take it off then, just so I can see your face. Right, so, so it's not actually because you're cold, it's because you want to hide your face. Ah, oh, there you go. Thank you, thank you. So you do stand up by your word then. You do think that Muhammad is actually a good example. The mark of the beast is coming when none of you are going to be able to do anything unless you get it because you're going to be controlled. There's going to be one world order. But before the mark of the beast, the rapture will come, the heavens will open, and Jesus will come and collect his people. I'm spreading this message with love for you all. No, no, to love you all and to no, save you all. No, why I say no, no, no. Amen. Because you don't know, I guess. Please. Because I really Out of love you for you all. Why should, why should I speak? Do you know that know. Jesus was never Christ's name? Never speak. I don't, I'm not here to discuss. You're that. not here to discuss the name good. of the Savior that you say you that you preach. Like. Yeah. So was his name Jesus? Yeah, Jesus. Jesus. Really? Somebody yes, by the name Christ of Jesus was crucified. Yes, Christ was his name when he was a resurrected. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So Christ was his name when he was a resurrected. Right? No other name under heaven. Jesus is the Son of God. Is he? Yeah. I thought it's Yeshua. Well, he's got many. Oh, yeah, right. Emmanuel, oh, yeah, Yeshua. Oh, really? Yeah. So there's Jesus, many names. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Emmanuel, Messiah. God who Spirit. knows him. Messiah. Are you gonna say so here same? before Yahweh, as our witness, you guys ready? This is the Jesus name challenge. Hashtag that. So here before Yahweh, as our witness. Now remember, if you deny him before the before men, he's going to deny you before the Father. Okay. So here before Yahweh as our witness, was anybody by the name of Jesus crucified and was Jesus the name of the Hebrew Messiah who lived 2,000 years ago? Yes or no? No, what are you trying to get to? Oh, no, 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 no one asked you yet. Is it yes or no, no question? Asked you yet. Was anybody, no, 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 was anybody by the name no. of Jesus no, no, no. crucified? No. Simple question. No. Yes. 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 Huh? Sure? Boy. That's well, Satan's name. Jesus is the uh, name of a satanic human Are you the guy that believes in UFOs? How I am the guy who you? is bringing the UFOs. Okay, all right. Yeah, okay, so, so, right. UFO. so here we go. Was Jesus the name of the Messiah? Yes or no? Yes! Of course he was. Here, so you're denying Yeshua, yeah? Yeshua, oh, Jesus, is the same. Jesus really? is the name. English. Doesn't the Bible uh, uh, me, say, for me. many will come in my name claiming I am he and will deceive many? And doesn't the Bible say that there's no other name under heaven given to men that saves us? The name Jesus is eight times translated and it originates from Jesus and Isus, and Isus and Jesus is Satan's name. Just as the word Lord is a translation from the word Baal, and Baal is the... What? It's Beelzebub. Wait, Lord. Where? That's right. Tell us about the rapture. The rapture? Yeah. That's right. It's coming very soon. The Messiah is on his way. We're, we're at the end, so end, end of time. And don't worry, I'm going to talk to my feet. That's what it says in my Quran. Listen, you, you're, you're Quran, but you're smoking and you're a slave to your sin. You're a slave to your sin. I've been set free. I've had an addiction. I've been broke. I've had nothing. I've had everything. I gave it all up for Christ. Do you think anything has control over my mind, over me? That I need to turn to these things? No. He's just here, so you guys don't 
Here. Where's your strength? Where's your okay. discipline? Where's Allah are you in this? Why are you escaping through smoking? Where's your strength? Where's your renewal of mind? Where's your love? Where's the peace inside of you? Why is it you have to turn to these things? Why is it that you're still living with a mouth, with evil eyes, to somebody who's just preaching, to a lady? Where's your love? Where's your humility? Where's your respect for yourself, for your body, for your temple, for your temple? But I think... I think now, my I brothers, think, if you guys want to listen, got some important you know, information. It was a minute ago. You guys <laughs> say was, you follow the dad uh, of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. His name is Yahweh. Jesus. 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 Jesus.